Hi, I'm James Hill, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to play the Billie Jean riff on your ukulele, including the bass line, the chords, and the drums. Let's get right to it. We're going to start with the chords. There are only three chords here, G minor, A minor 7, and G minor 7. And they go in this sequence, G minor, A minor 7, G minor 7, then back to A minor 7. Let's have a close look at exactly how I'm playing each one of these, because this is like the first steps in some origami project. You have to get the first folds just right, otherwise your paper crane turns into a paper armadillo or something. So let's get these voicings just right. G minor is index on the fifth fret, middle finger on the sixth fret, and ring finger on the seventh fret. Now I'm saying these in order from the floor up to the ceiling. So fifth fret, sixth fret, and seventh fret, no fingers on the fourth string at all. Now the next chord, A minor seven, is little finger on the seventh fret, index finger on the fifth, and ring finger still on the seventh fret. Like that. Notice that the ring finger here is the rock all the way through this chord progression. The ring finger stays on the seventh fret of the C string and never moves. The last chord you're going to need is G minor 7, which is little finger on the 8th fret, middle finger on the 6th, and the ring finger in its usual spot on the 7th fret. And yes, you can just leave that 4th string open and ringing the whole time. Now that might seem like a lot of information, but the good news is that's it for the chords. Now it's time to practice changing smoothly and on time between them all. Let's play it together a few times. You can come back to this part of the video, speed it up, slow it down, practice until you can play these chords in your sleep. Let's go together. One, two, ready, play. Two more times. Last time. Good. Next up is the bass line. There are only three notes in the bass line. G, D, and F. That's it. But again, it's not so much what you're playing, it's how you're playing it. And in order for this to all work out in the end, you need to play the bass line using only the C string. Now, as a side note, if you do have the low fourth string, you can play this bass line using the C and G strings, but then you'll only be able to play it on an ukulele with the low fourth string. So if you learn it the way I'm showing you here, you'll be able to play this on any ukulele, regardless of the tuning. So let's keep going. The bass line. Start with the ring finger on the seventh fret of the C string, and notice that that is the same ring finger on the seventh fret that we had with the chords. This was our rock before, and it's our rock now. So shift down and play the D note on the second fret, and then slide up to the fifth fret to get the note F. Like that. Play that a few times until you can play the notes confidently. Then try these notes in the order that they come in the song. So G, D, F, G. And then F, D, C, D. Okay, you got me. I lied. There is actually one extra note. The missing note here is just the open C string. And that completes the bass line for Billie Jean. Now you can think in note names, or if it works better for you, you can think in fret numbers. This is the way I like to do it. So seven, two, 
five seven five two zero two. Practice it in two halves for a start, so it's not too overwhelming. Seven two five seven. Just get that much. Try it again. Seven two five seven. One more time, just for fun. Here we go. Seven two five seven, and then finish it off like this. Five two zero two. Try that a couple more times with me. Five two zero two. One last time for good luck. Here we go. Five two zero two, and the whole thing together. Let's play it. Now you can come back to this point in the video anytime you need a reminder or a practice buddy. That's it. Okay, well done. You now have the main ingredients of the Billie Jean riff. In part two of this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how the magic really happens. The secret to playing the chords, the bass line, and even the drums at the same time. And if you're really interested in extreme ukulele techniques, check out ukulelex.com. That's where I teach the dark side of this amazing instrument. I'll show you how to turn your ukulele into a killer drum machine and much, much more. I'll see you there.